and we are back with the Squire Bullet Telecaster Upgrade Series, and I have with me a Shawbucker 1. I purchased this for $63. You can see it's regular $99. It's a local music store quite a while back. It's probably been two years, and I just haven't had anything to put it in. And everything I thought I was going to put it in, I actually ended up really liking the stock pickups. So now is the time. I have had this pick guard since 2007. I've mentioned this vaguely in the past. The very first parts caster I tried to put together started with this body. To this day, I have never been able to get a neck to be at the right angle. This is not a fender body. I bought it off of eBay when I was young and my very first project is a beautiful body. Got a nice contour, nice sunburst finish. Uh, I have a nice non-fender neck I wanted to go with it, but I've never been able to get it to work right. Maybe someday. So at the time I was going to route that out and make it into a fat telly because I really wanted one at the time and didn't have one. So I've had this pick guard all this time. Really like the mint green pick guard but I'm sure I can find another use for it, hint, hint. And we are gonna give this a try now. So I will get this installed, and also I will be installing 500K pots. I have received a package from Dylan Talks Tone. Let's open it up here. Address here, sealed. This is very exciting. I actually have another control plate and wiring from Dylan, which I have not used yet because it didn't work in the project I was, uh, well, not that it didn't work, but another part of the project I was using uh, it for wasn't working out. So let's see here. Oh, always love seeing these uh, High quality components. This to rep oh yeah, very smooth action on this. Not the uh, unlevel grinding on the Squire Bullet tip, uh, Caster's uh, standard setup. Uh, I'm not seeing any markings on here, but these I'm assuming these are the 500k pots I ordered. Uh, nice switch. Listen to that action on that switch. And uh, and again, where this was a, a Squire and I was having it upgraded with high-end uh, components here, orange drop capacitor too, uh, I went ahead and got the control plate and the knobs because these are a different size for the openings and the... Uh, basically, the potentiometers are too big to fit through the squire holes in simplest terms. So rather than go to the trouble of ordering all this separately, I just ordered them all straight from Dylan and it looks great. You can see the soldering is fantastic like you would expect. He has a great channel. If you haven't checked it out, please do. He has a lot of great content. I'll uh, link it below. So I will get this in the bullet telecaster and we will see how it does. And before I switch these out, I just wanted to give a side-by-side -side look here. And even if you didn't know anything uh, about guitar wiring, I think it would be clear uh, the difference between the cheap components that come stock in the Squire Bullet Telecaster and the much higher end components in the uh, Dylan Talks Tone uh, control plate. So I'm going to get this uh, nice one in, see what it sounds like. Okay, it is done, and I'm absolutely thrilled with how it turned out. Uh, I've had this Shawbucker for a while. Uh, I'm finally glad to have it in something. I'm just amazed by it. The Dylan wiring was top quality. He has the best pots I've ever had in a guitar other than maybe my S2 PRS. Maybe. I'm just really impressed by them. Uh, I've loved his channel for a long time. Don't always agree with him, but even when I don't agree with him, I can totally understand his reasoning. So I'd love to try some more of his stuff, including his pickups. And uh, he has great tutorials. Because, uh, again, I don't do how-tos because I'm not good enough at the technical stuff. 
uh, to feel like I can give you a how-to tutorial, but Dylan has some great ones on his channel. But I'm really pleased with this. Uh, I think I can tell a little bit of a difference to the 500K, but to the 250K, but I'll do some blind sound samples in a moment. But uh, I just wanted to run through a couple things because in addition to going through the cost analysis of upgrading a Squire Bullet Telecaster as opposed to buying something nicer off the shelf, uh, it's also the work. And one thing to keep in mind, the Bullet, which is uh, at the time I bought this was the cheapest real Telecaster you can buy. Now the Sonic has come in slightly under it, uh, but the Bullet's still widely available. Uh, it has a slightly thinner body and it comes stock with the Alpha Pots. Of course, Dylan uses the larger, much more robust pots with a great taper. And I also have two four conductor humbuckers, which means there is a lot of material in a small cavity. There are the wiring from both the pickups, the larger pots. Again, it's a nice switch. It's a, of course a mechanical switch and not a PCB board switch, but all that stuff takes up space. It took me a long time to get everything in there where it wasn't in a bind, it wasn't shorting out. Maybe someone who was a better guitar tech wouldn't have as much difficulty with it, but I eventually got it, but it was not the easiest thing. And it was, a, quite frankly, a very irritating process because I thought the wiring's done, it worked, excited to get it, everything screwed on, start playing it. And it was a long time before I got everything stuffed in there right and it's still just barely in there but as you can see it is in there and i think it looks really good and i could not be happier with the dylan wiring and I definitely could not be happier with the shaw bucker i'm going to do a full video uh about this pickup and comparing it to a couple others but i do want to give you an idea of how it sounds uh just here really quick <laughs> to a Boss Katana crunch channel, all EQs on five and everything's 10 on the guitar. Sounds great. Go to the middle position. It just sounds great. Uh, I'm really thrilled with it, and it was worth the wait to get this in something good. And uh, this, I think, overall has really turned out well. But before I go any further, one of the things that uh, I was setting out to do in this video uh, was to compare the sound of the bridge pickup with 500k pots, which these are, as opposed to 250k. So we'll. Uh, do that right now. Just play just a few brief sound samples to give you an idea. We'll come back with the answer and then we'll talk some more about the electronics in this guitar. <laughs>
And we are back. Those sound samples were recorded through a Shure SM57 into an audio interface into the recording device with no EQing or compression after the fact other than the standard YouTube compression. So, final guesses. The 500k pots were A, 250k, B. Uh, I think it definitely made a difference. It really did open up this pickup, gave it more bite, more clarity, uh, more articulation. Uh, made it sound more like a Telecaster pickup, like a hotter, fatter Telecaster pickup instead of a duller sounding bull humbucker. Uh, Dylan actually has a video about uh, the Player Series Telecaster Hum Hum model and uh, upgrading that with 500k pots and it made a big difference there uh, i think that's a definite upgrade i think it really uh, breathes new life uh, into this guitar i th thought it sounded great already but that's really fantastic i think so i was really pleased by that and i think the sound samples uh, bear out that it was a uh, worthy upgrade so now i'm going to demonstrate to you the wonderful taper on that volume pot. The pots on this are fantastic. They have a great feel. Uh, Dylan obviously wired them perfectly. Uh, but I just want to show you a volume swell on this. This is on the bridge pickup. Again. So linear, so smooth, 10, about 7, 5, 3, and off. So I'm not sure how well it's going to come through on the recording given the YouTube compression, but there was a noticeable difference at every one of those stages. It's not one of those where there's good adjustability from 10 to 6 and then it just falls off the cliff. It's like this is about 4. 7. 10. That's very usable if you're someone that's going to use these controls a lot. So I, I'm really impressed by that. If you saw my video about the uh, 920D uh, pre-wired pick guard for Strat, I got off of, off of Sweetwater. It was the workmanship was great, the feel was great, but it was one where actually I thought that the standard small alpha pots that came in my classic vibe Strat had uh, a better taper to it than the more expensive 920D. 920D was better in every other way in terms of feel and almost certainly will be in terms of reliability, but that was one of the main points of upgrading. And with the Dylan pots, you absolutely have that. So I'm very impressed. So final thoughts. I was very pleased with how all this turned out. Again, the wiring, big upgrade, should last much better much better taper, much better feel. It's just tremendous. I, I could not be more pleased with that. Uh, I think it was about $85 total uh, to get it with the control plate because you will need a new control plate if you have a guitar of the small alpha pots, typically overseas guitars. Uh, might want to check if it's a Mexican made when it's probably going to be a good for U.S. spec. So... Uh, your control plate would work with this probably for a Mexican, but you would want to check to be sure before you ordered it. But again, for the hardware, the wiring, 85 bucks, drop in, just solder the pickups. Fantastic. Another thing I did is I got this uh, upgraded output jack plate from Stumac because the higher end output jack did not fit through the uh, little plate. The proper name is escaping you, though, and I'll scroll across the bottom of the screen. Uh, that comes in most Telecaster designs. This is a much better design. This is the first time I've ever had one. Uh, 
it screws into the body instead. Of, I think it might be a retainer clip. Anyway, uh, it's a much better design. It's secured. That's never going anywhere. And I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Too. That's one of those little things that even though that was just like 13 bucks or something, uh, it's going to make a big difference. But just the controls make all the difference in the world in terms of the quality of the guitar. It's one of those things you really don't think about until you go from having uh, cheap controls uh, to nice controls. Just the smoothness. These are actually usable now. That was the biggest fault with this guitar in the beginning. And that's just you know, great. This will be my go-to guitar for volume swells now, probably. Uh, again, this has really come together well. Not quite finished, I don't think. The last thing I might upgrade are the saddles, but I uh, haven't quite gotten around to picking which ones yet because, quite frankly, upgrade saddles, I think, are ridiculously expensive uh, for what they are. But, uh, again, this is about going all out and trying to take a squire bullet telecaster to the upper limit of what you can do with it without getting into crazy things like changing the finish or something like that these are things that anyone with a little bit of know-how can do because i don't claim to be any great guitar tech so again if you, i hope you've been following uh, along the series of videos if not i will link all the past videos below and again, I, I couldn't be happier with how this is turning out. If you saw my neck video, I just want to comment really quick. The soft V-neck has grown on me more and more as time has gone by. Uh, it's really comfortable to play. And I will say that the guitar is resonating better. I think I worked a little bit more on the nut. It needs a little bit more work, but it's just really, I know you can, I can really feel it vibrate and sing a lot better now than when I first put this neck on. It's really settled in again. Uh, the nut needs probably a little bit more work. This is my first time uh, really uh, cutting a nut uh, that just had the little pilot holes and wasn't already, you know, everything done for you already. So I uh, do a little bit more work on that. But again, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Uh, I think this has been a very worthwhile uh, project, and I hope that you all have uh, benefited from uh, seeing me go through it and maybe learned a few things from... Uh, some of my mistakes and uh, but that's one of the benefits of this is you learn from the mistakes like for example one of the, my holdups previously was getting tuning machines that both fit that I liked and I tried to cheap out that didn't work I got some nice American stad ones I really liked that didn't work there's a whole video about that but I'm really happy with these vintage split post ones that are on here now uh, again, really happy I decided to go with the neck. Oh, and just one little thing. I was probably going to put, I was had out the Twisted Telly pickups. You may have seen in my Baritone uh, Telly video. I was going to take this out and put those in just to give it a try in this guitar. Because I love the mint green guard that came stock on this. But the Twisted Telly neck pickup wouldn't fit. It is a taller bobbin, but for whatever reason, it just wouldn't fit. And I tried all night to do it, and I did not want to with my uh, mediocre, at best, pick guard cutting skills, cut into that guard that I liked. So I thought, well, we'll just try the Shaw Bucker in this pick guard that I'm finally glad is on a guitar because I bought it in 2007 for my first never-ending project. And now it's on something, and I think it looks great. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Please like and subscribe. And until next time. Keep on rocking.